Right, so it's been about three months. Is it not time to trim again, lads? It's not just there. If I spin you around, the poster board is empty. The Samaritans gave up and closed down. It's just extremely forestry here at Barthley Lane. Time is 11.41, Monday the 25th of May 2020. This will be the 11.37 London North Eastern Railway service from Edinburgh to London Kings Cross. after this is currently stopped at Northgate but it shouldn't leave for four minutes. Seven on the North Eastern Railway service from London Kings Cross to Edinburgh.
Okay, next train's left New York North going. How far is the one behind him? We'll be staying again, won't we? One two two nine. Right, let's play this game then. Next, the eleven fifty two LNER train service London Leeds. have been going for nine minutes. That next and last train is coming under the road bridge. A triple one. that land actually on the floor now okay time is 12.04 hours this will be the i don't know because i've not sorted the page the 12.08 london northeastern railway service from leeds to london king's cross it says standing in the middle of the road let's just have this plant in this shot because why not where's this diverted thingy Yay. Oh, is, it, is he off Retford Way? I didn't know that. He's arrived at Retford 38 late. And the latest movement for scrap or whatever. After about 20 minutes early. I didn't know the freight 
train was from Redford Way. Here's in the plot from late 108 through, so you might be behind that. Uh, when should E08 pass here? I don't know because I'm suddenly on Retford. Uh, about 12.15. Freight trains are ready 30 odd minutes late. So you should leave Retford after that. What well, Ardman is kept in behind the freight train, they shove the freight train in Claypole Loop. Or the goods line at Grantham. Or Newark. Where's this train? I'm looking in all different places. Do we see him coming up from Norrell yet? No, let's climb through all the bushes and wait. Here he is, another IEP. A tank car. I was thinking it was a nine. Because of a Twitter trend yesterday, I thought of a new plan. You know how they were slowly going to or plan to end the Thursday clap for key workers? How about we introduce the, the Tuesday boo for Boris? Because it was trending yesterday. I put the post out. People seem to agree. If you're there, hello to you. Should we do it? Should we boo on the Tuesday, clap on Thursday? Until the clap dies? That's a shot you never thought you'd see. The time now is 12.10. There's no strange alarm. What a shame. The meme is broken. This will be the 12.15 London Northeastern Railway service from Edinburgh to London King's Cross. The diverted freight train that we've got on this line until further notice is now running 38 minutes late off of Retford. You don't really get freight trains stopping at Retford anymore. And I suppose with a lot of common to begin with anyway. Nothing else expected after the line's bloody empty. So it's this, then the freight train, and that's it literally doing this line for like, what, 20 or so minutes? Which I'm going to take leave on. There's a hoo-ha in a Facebook group over a bellend called Lee Hall who has been consistently using public transport through lockdown, ignoring government regulations. There won't be a poll because nobody uses them. I think YouTube wanted to get away with them, but what's your thoughts on this in the comments? Should he still be travelling regardless? Not as a key worker, but for the sake of leisure, which is currently not permitted by law, 
or should he stay at home? I think once he also claimed he had coronavirus. We can say that now and we don't get demonetized for it. So then he's wearing a, a surgical mask on this public transport, still obviously spreading it. In other news, can we paint the signal box, please, lads? It looks a bit trab. Used or not, keep it looking all right. Well, it's like the box at Loudham, isn't it? Should have been removed Christmas Day two or three years ago. It's still standing. How long will it stay standing? Does that have the lighting controls for the station? Like the one at Newark Castle that was meant to be going? Which isn't going to go now. It's the first time I noticed that 128 mile post as well. Well, there's this train. Next closure is the last closure. One two one Okay, the time now is 12.17. This will be the delayed 11.48 direct rail services train from Moss End down yards to Daventry International RFT receiving point, reception. I don't know what the bloody hell RFT is. Hang on, where's rail cam so I can read it properly instead of like a stupid idiot? Right, Moss End Doan Yard to Daventry International Rail Freight Terminal Reception. Flipping hell. This is diverted off the West Coast Main Line as well. And has been for several days. This set was out yesterday. Don't think this set's run throughout or not though. I don't know how long it's going to run for either. Was it a pledge to get more freight off the West Coast Main Line now because we lost a ton of freight on the East, didn't we? It's another look August via the Great Northern Great Eastern Joint Line via Sleaford. Just on a separate note, you probably heard yesterday where Boris Johnson agrees with Dominic Cummings driving 260 miles from North London to Durham with COVID for supposed childcare. It's not acceptable. And then now they're suddenly dragging the word autism into it, using that as an excuse. It's like the whole bloody LC train scenario again. Like, I thought that was bad enough as excuses. Now we've got the government saying, yeah, do what the fucking hell you like, but we're still going to catch you. You can drive 260 miles to Durham for supposed childcare. We don't care but our police are going to stop you and fine you for doing so unless you're Dominic Cummings. It's flipping stupid. I thought our government couldn't get any bloody worse. I'd rather have um, struggling May back instead of bugger old Boris. Which at the start of lockdown, we had no toilet paper. I called him bugger old Boris because he was the reason we had none. He started most of the panic buying by starting this way too late. If we went into proper lockdown, say February, when I had COVID, or I think I did, when I took several days off then and got the Class 37 and the Paragon over at Bootham, if we locked down then, we might well have been 
on a more approachable stage now where we're not having a hoo-ha about the children going back to school in about a week or two. What was said in yesterday's briefing, years reception one and six are to go back on June the 1st, regardless of the teacher union fights and regardless of what you want to do. We're all out of control. After that, they want the rest of them going back by June 15th. So it's all going to go complete apeshit. So what do we know about this? We've got Lee Hall travelling on public transport when we're demanded not to. We've got Dominic Cummings going 260 miles, claiming he's got an autistic child that can't have any home care 260 miles closer to home. And then we're told to do what the hell we like, but we're going to be fined for it. And lastly, we've got a government that's completely unfit for purpose, and we are literally run by a clown. That's Faith's political rant. Because it all has to be said, we cannot stand by whilst we're basically being told what to do in an unsafe manner. It's like as a piss poor example, it's like being told to run into a train trying to get in a closing door. You might do it, but if you do, you're a fucking pillock. Right, there's a diverted freight train from the West Coast Main Line. Should be a class 68 and class 88. to Daventry. Book it. Thanks guys. We'll see you in the next video.